bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. We are here at the governor's mansion for a reception honoring Washington-based Olympic athletes. And joining me right now, he really doesn't need an introduction, but we'll do it anyway, Olympic gold medalist from 1984, because you won silver in 80, correct? Right, correct. Bill Mayer, thanks so much for coming it's on pleasure. the program. thanks for having me. So much fun being here tonight with uh, all, all the athletes, Washington-based Olympic athletes. Well, it's great, because I, I met the young ones, you know, during the Comcast Local Heroes program. And uh, then on top of that, you get to see athletes that, I mean, there's athletes here that I didn't know existed or that were in other sports, you mm -hmm. know, row rowing and, and what have you. And so it's been a, a fun evening. Talk about your experience carrying the torch when it dipped oh, down into the U.S. You know, it, that, that was a big Thrilling. honor. It, yeah, it was. It, 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 I've run the torch for different Olympics, but uh, this one was very special because it's the only place that came into the U.S. and to run it on American soil. And, and I mean, I'm sure other Americans ran the flame, but, um, you know, to do it in, in this country was really special. And a privilege and an honor. Talk a little bit uh, about what the athletes feel now because I, I know I'm I'm so sad that the games are over. I love watching them on TV. I mean is it kind of like you know the the you you wait for your birthday when you're young and then all of a sudden it, it's gone and they train so hard. Uh, but I don't know I think that you know it's it's tough because the Olympics it probably varies from athlete to athlete. For us, it's almost like the Olympics interrupted our season um, mm. for two weeks every four years. Because you're, you're, you know, for instance, I ski on the World Cup, and right. we had you know races throughout the season starting in December, going through you know late March, and every four years there was a two week window in the middle of February where you know put your your real job on that's hold a, and a, go to do the Olympics. But uh, it's a special moment. It's a special time, and and you'll take away from it, I think, you know, fond memories. Those that win medals, obviously, it's a, a little bit different, I think. And, and a silver medal, that's the tough one because um, it's, it's second best. And it's usually not because somebody's better, it's just because you made mistakes. And you have to live with that. And you have four years before you can, you know, either redeem yourself or maybe not ever redeem yourself, and it's tough. Let's talk about a couple of Olympians who did medal Bodie Miller. I mean, four yeah. years ago, he was, what, 0 for 5? Yep, 0 for 5. Incredible, huh? Yeah, I mean, a couple things there. One, uh, you know, he didn't ski all summer, which I think was, he didn't know if he was even going to you know, go to the games. And um, that was a bonus, I think, because he came into the games excited about skiing. Hadn't skied all summer. All those other athletes have been training all summer and then training it leading up to the games. And he started off basically probably training in, let's say, October or maybe November and then working up to his games. And so he was still, I think, excited about skiing mm. more so than, than other athletes, maybe a little fresher physically and mentally, whereas everybody else is starting, oh, you know, starting to be a grind. Uh, the other thing is he matured in four years. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, had a little daughter, two-year-old daughter now. And uh, I think a lot of things, um, you know, that happened to Torino were kind of put to rest and, and, and I think more mature thoughts entered his mind. We heard so much about Lindsey Vaughn's injury coming into this. I mean, you hear about it over and over, yeah. but you would be able to tell us like, how hard is it really to ski with that kind of injury? Well, you know, I, you know, I, I've never bruised my shin, I don't think. Um, and I, you know, I, I kind of got tired of the hype. Um, you know, it's all oh, the shin, you know, and, and the other thing is, is if I'm injured two weeks before the games, if I injure my shin two weeks before the games, I'm going to tell the press now. I'm not going to wait 10 days or two weeks and then when I enter the Olympic Village say, oh, by the way, I injured myself two weeks ago or 10 days ago. Uh, I think I just throw it out there on the table and just let it be, mm. let it be what it is. Uh, you know, and as, as the games went on, she was lucky because, you know, the, you know things were postponed. The and, weather helped and, her. And, and or she the bad was weather, able to heal say. some. Um, but, you know, it, was, it got to be old. I, I was really, you know, okay, you know, you're injured, you know, get over, you know, get over that whole deal and, and let's just, you know, see the competition. But the press, you know, kind of just really blew that and just worked it and worked it for all it was worth. And um, it, to me, it was, you know, come on, this is overkill. An know? exciting yeah. Olympics, though. It was very exciting. Yeah. All right. Phil Mayer, so nice to talk to you. Pleasure. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers. Headline news at the top of the hour. Hope you can stay with us.